the title was true, this is the only miraculous ladybug video that I will ever do. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Pom, and today um, we're doing, we're going back actually to miraculous ladybug. Um, I did a couple of miraculous ladybug, ladybug reactions like a a year ago. Um, but I didn't really continue with them because copyright is just so annoying, especially with Marcus Ladybug. Also, if you hear like some airy sound, it's my laptop. I don't know what's happening. I think it's literally dying right now. But anyways, um, so I heard that the 100th episode of Miraculous Ladybug came out not long ago. And I heard that it was supposed to be like the best Miraculous Ladybug episode ever. And I was like, I'm gonna give it a watch. Like I have to watch it now. And so, um... I haven't seen Miraculous Ladybug in, uh, I think since they had the little hiatus, like when, uh, like when they were transitioning different companies, or something like that. Um, there was a huge hiatus where there weren't any Miraculous Ladybugs being dubbed, so that's kind of when I stopped watching it. So I haven't seen really anything since I think probably the beginning of season three. So I don't even know. I think you know, this is season four, episode. 22 so i don't even know what's going on i'm completely going into this completely blind we're just letting you guys know preference i don't know anything that's going on i don't know what's happening i don't know what's changed i haven't keeping up the story at all so this is gonna be completely kind of like blind reaction so i'm really excited though maybe this will get me back into watching where i say the bug again but who knows but anyways uh without further ado let's get into this video just a oh they changed the intro interesting Did they changed the voice actors too Oh wow, look at that. Wow. Wait, her costume looks so cool. Emily, everything I've done. I do remember Emily. Honey, it's mine. Now where did it go? <laughs> Adrian, I'm just not feeling well enough. You'll have to represent me. What's bothered? You're launching your hundredth collection tonight. You're the one that Gotta do hawk my things. All I'm asking is that you honor my work and the memory of your mother. Do we have an agreement? Ooh, that's harsh. Father. Harsh, brought his mother into that. That's, that's harsh, dude. He's that dedicated to his hawk mouth. The 100th collection of the brand you know, is dedicated job. to the mother. Bring me Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous Moolock. About that. What's with the red thing on his eye? What? What? There is more of them? There's a whole team? Oh, that's so cool! Wait, that's actually cool. Oh, I love his hair. He can't. Can't leave his father hanging. Oh wow, look at that! It looks so cool. All of her dots light up. Okay, this looks so cool. I love her costumes. I love everybody else's costume too. The whole team? That is awesome. I actually was wondering that too when I was watching. I actually, last time I watched, I I know she like didn't actually like give them the um, miraculous. She had to like, she told them to like give it back to her. I actually wish she would let them keep it because I think it would have been cool to like have a whole entire team of them together, like a superhero team. I'm actually really glad that that's where they went with like the story because that's awesome. Oh my god, he's really gonna try every single combination. Hyperion, try every possible combination. That you know there's like a million, right? He really sat there and did that a hundred times. So he has the power to like rewind time like a little back. A little backwards. Does that make sense? Wait, does he have some? I'm not paying attention. Wait, he has some. He has two miraculous. Too. I never noticed that. Was one of them his, uh, his wife? You used nine miraculous to defeat a single villain when Cat Noir could have just used his cataclysm. I had to. Cat Noir was missing. What do you mean missing? Oh. One of the most powerful miraculous. They're not a team. What if he started making his own decisions or acted out like Shadow Moth? In fact, you should find out who Cat Noir really is, so you can have better control over him. Oh. We can't know our true Warning you, if you don't succeed. I get it. Cat Noir will be replaced. That's so interesting that they have a lot. They have a more hands-on approach now. So they don't have permission to keep the miraculous. I'm Ladybug does. 
But for Cat Noir and me, it's different. If we knew each other's identities, all it would take is just for one of us to be akumatized to betray the other. And Shadow Moth would win. Ah. Spots on. That's smart. Yes. So they don't know who each other are. So Ladybug knows who everybody else is, right? Because she obviously gave them them, but they don't know who her identity is. So this is gonna be a fake reveal now, because he's safe. clearly gonna turn back time. We've got just five so they're gonna reveal, but then he's gonna so run back to time, so they're not gonna five. know at the You'll end of the episode. But he's gonna know, no right? That's a good thing about it oh, that's so interesting. Oh, he's just yes. gonna know who it is. So then why is that? You are right after all. We should tell each other our secret identities. If something bad happened to one of us when we're not heroes, we could know about it. It would make us stronger. <laughs> She's so We'd manipulative. Be able to it's quicker. Psychotic. She's such a good liar. She's super manipulative. I'm so sorry. She's very manipulative. You go ahead, lady. Guardians first. She like said no, that so fast. Wait. Let's do it together. <gasps> I'm actually really excited because she doesn't know it's Adrian, and I know she like, I'm, or at least used to be I'm, in love with Adrian. Adrian aggressed. <gasps> <laughs> he doesn't believe him. See? It's really me. Adrian Agrest. It's hard for me too, you know. My heart's beating so fast. I've waited for this moment for so long. But whoever you are behind that mask, you'll always be the most amazing person in the world. It's so obvious it's Mana. Oh god, I shouldn't be so awkward with him. What made you change your mind? As long as Cat Noir doesn't know who I am, it'll be okay. And I'm gonna make sure of that. Wonderful! Because Cat Noir's in love with Ladybug, that means he's in love with you! You and Adrian mm, are the finest I don't think that's what that means. Simple to see. I'm in love with Adrian, but I've never been in love with Cat Noir. It's they're two completely different people. Is the Adrian I'm in love with the fake Adrian? Is Cat Noir the real Adrian? Who's the real Adrian behind Adrian? I don't know. Why don't you ask Yeah. Me? She'll get to know me and then, who knows? I'm so charm yowing after all. He usually likes me so sick. He wrote the book, <laughs> I Am a Cat. Sorry for the joke, Miss Bustier. Like, I, I think he's more Cat Noir than Adrian. I think with Cat Noir, he can really, like, be himself. Not all, like, the struggles of being in the spotlight. Mean that, it happens to everyone. This is not gonna work. I'm assuming by the end of the episode, she's like, they're gonna like find some way to figure out to like erase her memory or something like that. There's no way she can like continue this. Dude, that's the thing I was thinking about too. Like, people really wanted the reveal, but like, it's pretty obvious that like they just don't work. Like, because Marinette is does not like Cat Noir. She likes Adrian, but Adrian is Cat Noir. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever thought you knew a person really well only to find out that they have a secret side to them that you couldn't possibly imagine? Once I got over the shock, it helped me to get to know them better and yeah. like them even more. Yeah, I'd say you, you know them a lot better, right? Because I think she's like, she's in love with Adrian, who I feel like is like a fake person personality i guess oh wow she's actually starting to warm up to him but like she's only warming up to him because she knows it's adrian otherwise like she would never do that uh, i'm so conflicted with this honestly very that's cute it's very conflicting wait i'm i'm ready now <laughs> now that you know it's me, you don't like me anymore? No, it's that. I just found out that one of my closest friends is the person I love and admire most in the world. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Uh, they don't like that. Me too. So you're at the movies tomorrow then? Are you hanging up? No, oh, you hang up. Sweet dreams, milady. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 that's, that, no, 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 he can't just be like, he, like, what? He says, m'lady, and then he's just like, yep, I knew it. This episode is moving really fast, actually. It's moving too fast, to be honest. Like, everything's happening all at once, and clearly by the end of the episode, like, everything's gonna be, like, back to normal, but, like, like, that's, that's all it took. This was in your house? I'm not even 
making sure we're still in my house. That's all it took was him saying milady and he was like, wait a second. Cat Noir also says milady. They must be the same person. Weirdos. Like what? That doesn't make any sense. Mom? One hundred weeks since she disappeared. One hundred oh. times have I tried to seize Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous to bring her back. To think that the solution was right here under my roof. Ephemeral. I am your father, Shadow Morph. I am your master now. So are they showing them, showing us the consequences of them revealing their identity? Uh -huh. Hello, Ladybug. I'm sorry. I promise this won't take long. Be a simple young girl without powers again. <laughs> ah, yes. My oh, he just flung her. He flung her, dude, I like it was nothing. Oh, sorry, Marinette sent me. I can go back to any temporal marker that has been placed in the past. But when a Kami uses their power without a holder, it always has disastrous consequences. <laughs> it's the end of the world! What's going on? What? Shadow must have taken control of Ladybug and Cat Noir's <laughs> miraculous, so and he made a wish. Kind of cringe. That's what happens when someone makes a wish. The universe is destroyed and then entirely rebuilt. Set. Hurry. All right, hurry it up. Second like chance. the countdown has begun. It's one a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Going back to the like yeah, I mean we knew it was gonna happen. What, what, the... what, is what the heck is going on? <laughs> Time has gone crazy. Reminds me of Spider-Man in the multiverse. Follow me. Or all the timelines are like crashing together, right? Can you hear me? Hyperion, I gotta talk to Sass. Whoa, I'm getting major deja vu right now. I don't know how they're gonna fix all this. I need Doctor Strange. This will be enough to tip the balance of time? The satellite is just above our heads. We fix it, we fix all the connected devices that depend on time to function. How are we gonna know the exact time? It doesn't make, it doesn't, it doesn't make any down sense down. at all. Oh, wow. Hey, what? That's so cool. Wait, Think that's so cool. Watches. And he's all like galaxy themed. Oh, I love that. Now I have exactly that's so pretty. You. Wait, that's so cool. Reminds me of Wings Club. Ready, Astro I love transformation. Oh, Astro? Oh, they're going to space. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Wait, that's actually so cool. <laughs> I think that's so pretty. I still don't understand how fixing the satellite uh, fixes uh, multiverses colliding into each other. I don't know how that makes any sense, but apparently it does. Meow, meow. Yeah, a classical piece. What did you want to talk about earlier? Up on the Eiffel Tower? Oh, nothing important. Forget about it. So, do you know who Cat Noir is yet? No. What? I thought I had warned I you. I don't want to know. I've proven to you a hundred times that I'm a good guardian. You're judging us based on your own fears and Max. not on our actions. I mean, she is right. She is good. You're right, little lady. She's a good superhero. What's for sure is that one doesn't come across a guardian like you every century. Found it. Found it. Um, that was an interesting episode. Um, I don't know. It was like, to be honest with you, I feel like I was watching everything in like two times, two times X speed. Like, everything was just going by so fast. Um, I don't know. The pacing in this episode was really weird. Like, it was very, very fast. Like, I don't know. For like a best, for like quote unquote the best episode ever made, I don't think it's really all that good, to be honest with you. There's a lot of Miraculous fans out there, um, and probably gonna hate me for this, but like, I don't know, I think, I don't know, like, I do like Miraculous Ladybug, it's just like, I just feel like it's just gone, gone really like weird these like past seasons from what the little stuff I've seen about it. Um, it seems like they're like, trying to be like super anti-revealing like revealing everybody wants to reveal but they're basically saying like yeah you're not gonna get a reveal like they're definitely they're definitely kind of like telling you that like reveal is like not gonna happen or like this is what's gonna happen if a reveal ever occurs um like everything's gonna the world's gonna end destroyed how much gonna know he's gonna find out eventually which is it is true right unfortunately like hawk, like hawk moth would find out eventually um 
honestly, I think if they were to, if they were to, if Adrian were to figure out the identity of Hawk Moth first, um, then I think they could, then I think they'd be able to work their way around, like telling each other. But honestly, I was thinking that they probably won't be able to tell each other until they're like adults, that they're still doing this as adults. Because that way, at least if they're like on their own and he's not living with his father, it'd be a lot easier for them to like hide the fact that, you know, that they like know each other's identities. Um, but yeah, it was just like, uh, I don't know, episode was just like super, it just went by super fast. That was really fast paced. And I thought like, like him, like him saying, like Adrian saying Milady, and that's how he figured out that he was Cat Noir. I feel like that's like doesn't make sense at all. Like that's that's the the setting factor is him saying Milady. It's not like Adrian changes his voice all too much from like Cat Noir. So like I feel like that is not enough of an indicator to be like, oh yeah, you're definitely Cat Noir because you said Milady. I thought it was like very. I thought it was like kind of like a poor writing, to be honest. Like I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting. Well, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, that's something for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my social to see more of my face. And I'll see you next time. Bye.